You know the names, Google, Facebook, Amazon. Big tech has helped connect small businesses with millions of customers, but at what price? I-Team investigator Adam Walser tonight finding out state prosecutors and federal lawmakers now say tech giants could be creating unfair monopolies and punishing those who don't play by their rules. It looks like clouds. You have the white with this blue tie-dye right here. Ashley McPherson sells shirts, shorts, and sweaters on Facebook. I'm going to show you all the blue on really quick. I'm holding the camera up. I'm talking about the piece of clothing. We have the right sizes. In a few short years, her business grew from a spare bedroom. They ship every morning. To this warehouse with four full-time employees, thanks to Facebook. I've spent thousands of dollars on Facebook ads. But after McPherson's followers grew, she stopped running ads and started getting messages like these temporarily suspending her Facebook account for hours or even days at a time. Facebook yeah. jail. That's what we refer to it as. I can't do my live feeds. I basically am I'm just locked out of Facebook, and I have no explanation as to why I'm locked out. And what do they say when you call up Facebook and say, why am I in jail? There's not anybody to talk to. The company did not answer our questions either about McPherson's account. Tech giants like Facebook, Google, and Amazon are accused of seizing too much control over information and the business market, leading prosecutors in most states to open investigations. 50 Democrat and Republican AGs are banding together to begin this investigation. The internet has become increasingly concentrated, less open, and growingly hostile to innovation and entrepreneurship. Congress and federal agencies are also investigating whether those big tech companies are becoming monopolies by violating antitrust laws and crushing the competition. Big tech has billions of dollars to buy up hundreds of companies that compete against them. Amazon bought Ring.com, Diapers.com, and Whole Foods. Google bought YouTube, Spotify, and Waze. And Facebook bought Instagram and WhatsApp. Consumer experts say that could be bad news for you. They'll raise prices. They have no reason not to at that point. I mean, if they have no competition. Attorney Susie Holler, a former Walmart corporate attorney, specializes in antitrust law. What's wrong with a company becoming too big? Consumers have less choice. Try to call these people up. There's nobody even answers the phone. That if they get too much market power where they're the only store in town, that's when it becomes dangerous. Google, which controls nearly 90% of online searches, dominates online advertising, thanks to all the data it collects from our searches. So they actually have a, sort of a, a virtual you that they know about, that they can anticipate what you are going to do. April Wright, a computer security expert, says the government should regulate how big tech uses our data. We are giving away our privacy every day to these companies, willingly and for free. When asked for comment about its online advertising, Google sent us a link to a think tank write-up, showing overall the price of internet advertising has dropped. Then there's Amazon, which raked in $280 billion in sales last year. There is no bigger retailer in the U.S. Anthony Rossi is among 1.9 million third-party sellers. He sold hair dryers, beauty products, and thousands of other items on Amazon for the past five years. Rossi is a five-star seller, but Amazon says it suspended him for inappropriately contacting customers and threatening employees. Trying to follow their rules and stay within uh, their guidelines is next to impossible because they don't define it. Rossi admitted sending sarcastic emails to Amazon employees because he was frustrated over shipping issues, but denies making any threats. Amazon told us it offers seller support 24-7 via email, phone, and chat. But confusion about Amazon's rules has sparked a cottage industry of companies that do nothing but appeal Amazon suspensions. I think there's a real need for government to step in and protect not only just the consumer, but also the sellers. We reached out to Facebook, Amazon, and Google about those ongoing antitrust investigations. Facebook didn't respond. Amazon says it doesn't address specific investigations, but welcomes scrutiny. Google says it provides products people want and engages in fair competition. You can read all their statements on abcactionnews.com. 
I'm my team investigator Adam Walser taking action for you.